indoor air quality. So when a, when a home is very leaky and you have no control over the um, indoor environment, you are getting um, all the pollutants from outside. So whether it's forest fire smoke or allergens, the pollens that we get here in central Oregon, um, all of that's coming into your home. So if it's respiratory issues, um, uh, sleep issues, all of that is based on indoor air quality. Also, people put a lot of time and effort into the filters and the ventilation systems in their home. And in order for those um, ventilation systems to work well and for those filters to do their job, you have to control the leaks in the home. So what you want is to build a home tight and then um, ventilate it right. So a house needs to be ventilated. Uh, hi, my name is Peter Grube and I am the owner of Northwest Aero Barrier. We provide a air sealing technology for home envelopes. In this particular case, uh, the homeowner is doing it right. He is taking a 60s typical West Side Bend ranch home and he's doing both a um, cosmetic renovation as well as an energy renovation. And doing those at the same time is the most cost effective way to do it. It's, it's perfect. So he is getting this home really tight. Aero Barrier is a brand name for the generic um, process of aerosol air sealing. So what we do is we take a um, water-based liquid sealant and we atomize it. So combine it with compressed air. It creates um, a fog of sticky particles within the home. That fog is then pushed um, by pressure that we provide with a blower door fan. And so all of the air is leaking out through the leaks. And as the um, sticky particles go through, they stick inside the leak, stick to themselves, and then form a perfect seal. So as we like to say, it is a um, leak-seeking missile. And ultimately, the reason why we are doing this is to stop uncontrolled air leakage in the envelope of a home. The, the air change per hour is the amount, the volume of air of the home. So um, let's say this house is about 15,000 cubic feet. So one air change would be 15,000 cubic feet of air moving through the house in one hour. And the industry standard is um, we measure it at a certain pressure level, which is uh, we use a unit of pascals. So at 50 pascals, it's about equivalent to a consistent 20 mile an hour wind. So a house would be leaking five air changes. So the full volume of a house leaking five times every hour. And that's even in new construction. So in, a, in what we would consider a high performance home, we get the leakage down to one or two air changes. That's five times less leakage going through that house every hour. So in the past, it's taken all the other techniques that we're using are manually applied. So someone has to walk around with caulk or sill seal or um, can foam. And they're trying all these different methods at different times. Um, this is a single source of air sealing. So it's one step and we're measuring. So because we're hooked up to a blower door and we're measuring the amount of leakage, we know when we're done, we provide a certificate where we started, where we ended. So the homeowner in this case, or the builder knows that their home envelope is, has been tightened. And again, we're in and out in a day and the actual seal time is usually two to three hours. So um, the cost of aero barrier typically for um, a homeowner doing one project is about $1.50 a square foot of conditioned space. In a house like this, the savings are much more dramatic. So we're taking it from about 10 air changes to one air change, and they've got older, less efficient furnace systems. They may even have electric resistance heat. So it can be hundreds of dollars of savings from November through February when people are experiencing three, $400 heating bills just to kind of stay cool. Um, When I think of the ROI proposition, return on investment, um, one of them is just how many dollars are you saving per month in the winter? And that, that's real and it matters. We also really focus on the indoor air quality that we talked about, how you're spending 
anywhere from when life was normal, 12 hours in your house. During uh, pandemic time, some people are doing 18, 20 hours in their house. You're breathing that air constantly. And so if it's stale, if it's polluted, if it's forest fire, if it's giving you allergies, um, the ability to control that house and filter it and provide an oasis of fresh air inside the home, I feel that that's an investment in your health and well-being. And if the ROI pencils out at eight years and you're like, well, I don't know if an eight year ROI is worth it. You're like, well, what's the indoor air quality of your home where you're living and your little kids are living or older folks are more susceptible. So I feel that the investment in the health and well-being is um, well worth it.